Good evening, thanks for tuning in. In this video I'm going to show you um, quite a lot of finds from a site I went to bang out in the middle of nowhere. Um, I went there hoping to find some hammered silver because I haven't found a hammered silver coin yet. Everything but I haven't found a hammered silver coin. Um, it's right next to where there's a drover's road comes down. There's some nice flat land where you can imagine them camping and so on and such forth. I thought if I'm going to find uh, hammered silver, there's a good chance it may be there um, and as you'll see from this video it didn't turn out quite as I expected I'm here in a quite a large paddock in Hexhamshire there's a drover's road comes down through the wood here up and away past the houses um, I'm kind of hoping to find some coins in this field and so far I've had three digs and three coins um, just kind of trashy last century coins but I've got another signal here so I'll dig it up have a look and it's a fitting for a copper pipe I might have known as soon as I got the video camera out I wouldn't find a coin <laughs> this is another good signal it's bouncing around a little bit but it's it's up at the upper right hand side of the screen it was kind of up here which would make us think it's either silver or copper or something or other. Possibly not though. Mm, it's an old half penny. 1940 something or other. It's in reasonable condition. This is another jumpy signal. And it's another coin. This time it's a George the sixth half penny, 1947. Nice patina on it. Not worth out, but it's still another coin. This signal is literally eight inches away from the last coin. That was the last one. That was at half penny. This is another signal. This is actually a, a much better, more stable signal. And it's another half penny. Mid 40s again, George the Sixth. Not expecting this one to be a coin, it was a really sketchy signal jumping all over the place, but finally settled up a right. So I'll have a look, it's in here somewhere. It's a buckle. Don't know whether it's old or not, but nice nonetheless. I was just about to say this was a beautiful crisp signal when I lifted it out before I could get the video camera fired up. This fella fell out of the sod. 1918 penny. George V. Another nice strong signal here, deep enough to be something interesting. And it's a crusty old penny. Another bleep, another dig. Good signal. About the same depth as I've been digging all the coins up from. So hopefully it'll be another coin. coin in there somewhere. See all the tarnish. Ah, oh, there it is. And it's uh, an old threepenny bit. Terrible condition as always. This was given quite a bouncy signal but settling towards the upper right hand side of the screen. about make out what looks like the coin in the bottom corner there so give it a go it 
is a coin. No idea on age, but it's a good depth. Probably never find out. But uh, I'll try and clean it, and I'll give you an update at the end of the video if it's anything. I actually dug in the wrong place here. This has given me a huge signal hitting where silver hits, but um, because of the size of the signal and the relative depth of it, I think it's probably a can or something. Time will tell. It's just a big old coin. Lovely condition, actually. Look at the detail. I swear that gave a signal as if it was a buried hoard of silver. What a huge signal. You can see how it was orientated as well. It was sitting at about 45 degrees and it gave a, a massive response. Alright then. New hole. Previous hole probably six inches away, and there's another crack and signal. And it's another coin. And that one is 1916. A bit crusty in parts, but uh, Beautiful patina on it. Nice detail, if a bit worn. You can just about make out Britannia sitting down there. Another excellent signal. Possibly another coin. Is indeed George the Fifth, nineteen twenty, nineteen twenty-one. Another good signal. The digs taking us halfway to China. And there's something down there, apart from that big beetle grub. Look at that fella. Yeah. Lovely. Anyway, hunt the coin. If it is a coin. And it is a coin. It's another George the Fifth. This is cracking condition, this one. Look at the detail on that. Beautiful. 1936. This is rapidly turning into the perfect site. I don't believe it. I've only gone... Oh, I don't know. I've covered about five metres into the field. And I've walked backwards and forwards about four times and I've found all these coins. It's just madness. I've never seen anything like it. And some... Ooh. That's a nice glint. And it's a, what's that, shilling? About the size of a shilling. Yep. It's another silver shilling and it is 1939. Very good. This is just, this is just getting crazy. I'm honestly in the middle of nowhere. I just dug that hole. Got a shilling. Moved the detector. There's another beep from in here. Uh, it's a bit of a jumpy signal, this one, so it may not be a coin. That's a threepenny bit. Just make out the little flowers on it there. I have actually found quite a lot of coins that I haven't videoed because time's getting on. 
I've got about five minutes left at this site. Um, I've got another signal down here somewhere. In there. Not very deep, this one. Coming up is quite a strong signal. Give it a dig, see what's in there. That's another threepenny bit. Just to give you some idea of the sort of signals that I'm getting today, I would have to be some sort of moron to miss this. That's a massive signal. It's, you just cannot miss it. There's probably two or three lots here as well, so I'm going to get digging. Let's see, what is it? Where are we? It's gone. Another George the Sixth halfpenny. Hmm, it's another penny. Which I've clipped with a speed. Yeah, it looks like another George V one. Another good signal, so I'll dig this one up. It's in there somewhere. Yeah. Very nice, 1931 Florin, George V. Nice bit of silver, beautiful. There you go, a hell of a lot of finds. Um, that was in about two and three quarter hours, so that was excellent. The total was 29 coins, six of which are actually silver. There's old pennies, ranging from late Victoria to George VI, which is mid-1900s. There's some George VI half pennies with a ship on the back. There's some George VI threepenny bits, which are, I think they're 12-sided, they're 10-sided or 12-sided coins. There's also a couple of old coins, which is really what I went to that site for. This is what I was expecting to find. These are in terrible condition, but there's two George III half pennies. Very poor condition, they generally are. Two silver threepenny bits. There's a George the... Uh, where are we? George the Fifth. And a George the Sixth. I haven't cleaned any of these up yet. That's the backs of them. Two different backs there. So one's 1938 and the other one is 1931. Both silver. There's two shillings, which are George the Sixth shillings. The line on the back there. And they are 1943 and 1939 and then the big ones which I couldn't really miss to give such a good signal there's two florins and these are George the fifth from 1931 and 1929 It kind of puzzled me as to why there were so many coins in such a coin-find area. The, the paddock itself was about, I can't remember whether it was three or four acres, and I wouldn't have even done a tenth or even a twentieth of that. I literally just went backwards and forwards across the narrow end of it, 
about five times to get all those coins. It was absolutely awesome doing hardly any trash. It was really what most people would regard as the perfect site. Um, I did get a clue as to why there were so many coins there when I found this. Whoops. This is a barrier badge, so you'd, you'd put it in the front of your barrier, and it's from the Royal Army Medical Corps. So there must have been camping there at some point, or possibly on a yearly basis to drop that many coins, but I am definitely going back to that site, so stay tuned, there will be more to come. The silver coins and the other finds will be cleaned up, actually the copper ones probably won't be cleaned up, I never bother cleaning them up. The silver ones will be cleaned up, shock horror, it does reduce the value, but they're for my collection, so I like them to be nice and shiny, clean. Um, I'll do a finds update, uh, possibly more towards Christmas, just showing you what I found in the last couple of months. Thanks for watching. A quick apology, the two little silver coins that I said were threepenny bits were actually sixpences. Um, when I Finally got round to cleaning them up. Um, I realised that there were sixpences and not threepenny bits. So there was sixpences, shillings, and florins found today.